As I promised, this is the follow-up for the video on the best way to control blood pressure when it's time to resort to drugs. The gold standard for when blood pressure should be treated has always been at the level of 140 over 90. And that's when the blood pressure is taken in a sitting position after you've been resting for five minutes. Now that's important. But there is evidence that any blood pressure above 120 over 70 may increase the risk for stroke, heart disease, and kidney disease. Now there have been thousands of randomized clinical trials, that's RCTs for short, of antihypertensive medications. A Cochrane meta-analysis, the meta-analysis is a grouping of many RCTs, shows that low-dose thiazide diuretics have the best risk reduction and no drug, no matter how new, how effective, how expensive, or how side effect laden works better. Of all the available drugs, only reserpine provides long coverage. That enables a person to take it once every day or even every other day as the dosing. Reserpine is, was originally extracted from the Rawolfia plant in 1949. It's safe and devoid of side effects at the appropriate low dose. Now there have been dozens of RCTs that prove its effectiveness beyond any doubt. Now a potassium sparing diuretic has been shown to greatly reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease and can offset the loss of minerals, particularly potassium and magnesium, that are caused by the thiazide diuretics. A milleride a proven effective drug is in this class. Now for these reasons, my first line treatment for blood pressure after, of course, lifestyle, supplements, and metformin, if that's indicated, is amylaride and hydrochlorothiazide in a combination. And that is five milligrams of amylaride and 50 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide in each pill. Now the starting dose for this is just a quarter of a pill every other day. How simple. Now if more control is needed, we add reserpine, 0.25 milligrams, and again, just a quarter pill every other day. The RCTs have shown that adding a new class of a drug to your blood pressure treatment is five times more effective than doubling the dose of the drug you're already on. Now these three drugs can be titrated up in dose. And once at the maximum, then I would recommend adding a low dose calcium channel blocker like amlodipine, two and a half milligrams a day. Now this regimen will solve almost all common hypertension. <clears throat> so why don't I use the modern drugs like the ACE inhibitors and the ARBs? This is what doctors put everyone on. These drugs can cause cough, rashes, life-threatening angioedema, skin sloughing, and the loss of kidney function. And there's no proof that there's any advantage over the older drugs. Now the beta blocker class, which is also popular, causes a slow heart rate, exercise intolerance, it worsens asthma, it causes depression, impotence, heart failure, and even death. Trials of the beta blocker drugs in the hypertension studies show no mortality benefit. I mean, that's why we take pills. Now, the calcium channel blockers also have a long list of potential side effects, and that's why I use them last. And again, that's why I use them in an extreme low dose, because then the risk of side effects is much lower. So let me ask you a question. Has your doctor used these proven, effective, low-cost, virtually no side effect treatments for your blood pressure? Now I can say I'm almost certain that he or she has not. Our healthcare system and the FDA have completely sold out to the profiteering interests of the pharmaceutical companies. This proven regimen is never prescribed in my experience. And to me, it borders on an ethical violation. Now, until they complete a, a trial of the new drugs against this protocol that I use, no other drug should be used. So let me summarize. First, treat high blood pressure with lifestyle. That's a nutrient-dense diet, exercise, stress reduction, and detoxification. Then add supplements like magnesium, fish oil, herbs, and there are many others. 
If you're overweight and or have insulin resistance, then consider metformin as the first line drug. Now the first drug to start is the diuretic combo, amylaride, hydrochlorothiazide, 5 slash 50, a quarter tablet every other day, then add reserpine, 0.25 milligrams, one quarter tablet every other day. Titrate the dose up to the maximum dose, which would be a half a tablet of the diuretic combination every day, or the reserpine, a half a tablet of the 0.25 every day. Now at this point, if you still need more, and add the amlodipine, 2.5 milligrams per day. Now lately, my pro patients have had problems getting reserpine. If more physicians and patients would demand the evidence-based treatment with this drug, maybe the supply will come back. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.